that surprise you? So many of you have asked us how you make a television program like Watch that we decided today to show you a few of the tricks of the trade. And we're going to start by showing you how we do the opening titles for Watch. And for that, we've come to Ken Brown's studio. And this is Ken Brown. Hello, Hello Ken. And he's going to show us how they do those titles. Well, I start with the word Watch mm -hmm. and coloured plasticine. And I roll it out with a milk bottle to get it nice and flat. And with a sharp knife, cut all around the edge. Did you realise that the letters were made of plasticine? And there we go. And that fits in there. It's lovely stuff to work with, as you can see. Watch. Now, once you've done the word watch, we have a sort of little picture, don't we? A moving picture that has something to do with the programme. How do you do that bit? Well, I do that in plasticine again. I mean, the subject that I'm working on at the moment is Romulus and Remus. Oh, I'll bring that down a bit. Ken showed us how he made a plasticine model and filmed it with a special camera called a rostrum camera. Yeah, that's fine. That's all in. For the Roman titles, he made a plasticine wolf and little plasticine and babies. And then we bring in the little babies. One here. One here. Once he's set the model up, he moves bits of it a little at a time. And Terry, the rostrum cameraman, takes the pictures one by one. Okay. And it might be quite nice if, when he's looking right round at them, that they have a reaction mm. by turning their heads. Okay. It takes a very long time, and they film the action backwards, so that what the little babies seem to do here, they will do the other way when you see the finished titles. Take this one to write a screen, and the other one to the left. Okay, when I get rid of them, I put them down here. Two, three. Clean up. And, we'll have and now, one. they're left with the she wolf. And it's time to make her disappear into a ball. Okay. Ken does this by squashing up the plasticine with his hands. Until he's left with a ball of plasticine. Because Ken filmed it backwards, this is how the finished Roman titles looked when the film was run forwards. I expect you remember those. And you probably remember these pictures as well. To do this, we went location filming with a film crew. And believe it or not, our film cameraman is actually filming this now. There he goes. The producer has a lot to do on location filming. He tells everybody what to do. And this is how our film cameraman got this shot of everybody's legs. We went to a lot of trouble to get this high shot. The film crew went up in a crane so that they could look right down on everything. <laughs> it's dangerous, doesn't it? So you see, there's a tremendous amount of work and a lot of organisation that goes into location filming like this. Come on, Louise. It's your big moment next. Oh, right. Here we go. going to be a star. Come on. Now watch this very carefully, because it's a bit clever, this. If we say the magic spell, we might just be able to get Louise to appear. So let's try it, shall we? All together, then. <laughs> Action. Hooray! I'm here! 
Now, we're going to start this race in true Roman fashion by dropping a white handkerchief. Is everybody ready? Yes! Yeah. Cut. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Of Lovely. course, all this film has to be cut by a film editor. Here is ours, making the piece you've just seen work like magic. Let's try it, shall we? All together, Romans first and Romans last, out of the present and into the past. He has to cut out the piece that we don't want. And join it to the piece that we do want. He marks the film so that he knows where to cut it. Then he joins the two ends together. And hey presto. Yeah. So let's try it, shall we? All together. Romans first and Romans last. Out of the present and into the past. Now, I'm going to start the race in true Roman fashion by dropping the white handkerchief. Is everybody ready? Yeah! Right, off we go! <laughs> we had a lot of fun that day, didn't we? Yeah, we certainly <laughs> did. Of course, filming isn't all there is to making a TV programme. No, there's this part as well. This is the studio part. For instance, if we wanted to show a Roman classroom in a programme, we couldn't very well go out and film one because there aren't any Roman classrooms left to film. So we get a designer to build one for us. Here it is. Looks good, doesn't it? Mind you, it's not quite so impressive if we have a look round the back. Look good, these pillars, don't they? Come and have a look. Pity it's only got three sides. <laughs> and here you see how the scenery is propped up. Now, nobody normally sees this part of the studio, so it doesn't matter what it looks like. Remember the god Janus? Here he is. But, of course, he's not exactly carved out of stone. Look, it's a polystyrene replica. Much cheaper and much quicker to make. So, all this we put into a TV studio. Cameras, microphones and lights. Ah, oh dear. It's a big place, a TV studio, and it needs a lot of people to make it work. How many people do you think there might be? 10, 20, 30? Actually, we took a photograph this morning of the whole team in the studio, and I counted 38 people. Oh, good. Can you audit that, please, James? And this is one of them. This is Tony. He's our floor manager. And he tells us what we're going to do next. Yes, right. OK. I'm going to set up some shots on Louise now. Well, that was be... good. We're just going to line some shots up on Louise now. Up above us is the control gallery where the studio director sits with the producer and other technicians. She talks through a microphone to the studio and all the people wearing headphones and earpieces can hear her. Colin on camera three. Would you elevate... Track in on Louise, please. Nice. Good. Cue Louise. The people who operate the microphones are also wearing headphones, so both the sound men and the cameramen 
can all hear and can do as they're asked. But Louise and I aren't wearing headphones or earpieces, are we? So how do we know what to do? OK, hold it a minute. Um, Tony, uh, ask James to sit down, will you, please? Uh, James, will you sit down, please? Thanks. You've got it. The floor manager tells us. Could you ask him to make the cardboard television set, please? Oh, could you make the television set now, please? Right. Here's what we need. We've got a cardboard box here. This is one of those very large detergent packets. And we've covered it in wallpaper, which makes it look very smart. And then we've cut out a television screen shape on the front and made two slits on either side. I should get your teacher to do the cutting out for you. And then you can decorate it. We've got some little plastic tops here. And if you stick them on with a bit of plasticine, they look rather like knobs, don't they? On and off switch and volume and brightness, I think that one can be. <laughs> there, that's that. Very good. Very good indeed. Now then, what kind of programmes do you think we might get on our TV set? Well, we could get some ancient Roman programmes. Here is a book that we borrowed from a school. I expect some of you have been making books like these, and it just happens to fit perfectly into our TV set. Right, Louise, can you just Should feed I it in? it through? Through right. the slot at your end. Through the slot here. OK. Got it? Got it, yep. Right. And I shall pull it through. Roll it. And bring it through the slot at my end. And we're in business. There we are. So we start our book, The Romans. Wind it on. Here is a map of Italy. Rome is the biggest city in Italy. There's Rome and there's Pompeii. Right, wind on a bit more. Ah, the story. Romulus and Remus. The story of Rome begins with Romulus and Remus. Let's see what's on the next picture. Oh, ah, a picture of a mosaic. Yeah. Mosaics are pictures made of little bits of coloured stone. Here is a famous mosaic from Pompeii. That's it, it's the Carve Carnum. That's right. That. He went there, I know, That's you right. lucky thing. <laughs> All right, next picture. What's next? Ah, volcano. Oh, yes, the volcano. Pompeii was buried by the volcano Vesuvius. Look, it's all erupting there. Isn't I know, there it all is. All the lovely red lava coming down there. Not lovely, it's terrible. Well, stuff. I know, but it looks very good. Well, it looks I good suppose on the picture, it does, yeah. It's here, all shooting out the sparks. Looks very good. It does, it looks yeah. very good indeed. Oh, it. hey, James. What? We've got to finish there. Oh dear, time to go. Time's run out. I hope you've enjoyed watching us make our watch programme and seeing all the different jobs that people do. Hmm. Perhaps one day you might work in television. I wonder what sort of job you would like to do. Bye. Goodbye. 49. Roll roller, go grams. <laughs> Thank you.